Yeah. Okay. So, hi everybody. We're playing. Still wakes the deep. I literally just started the game, as you can see. I'm gonna go with story. I still can't believe you went. What do you think? Going to that place. I wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. I love the water. I love the forever. gloomy atmosphere. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now, please. Cass. Please, Cass. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be. No, home. don't say that. Home, if you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you forever. What? Why not? Wait for me, please. Can you see him stuck in an oil rig? I see. 1975. Yeah, I guess it is close to Christmas, 18th of December. I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Well, didn't wait too long or someone will be off with you. Aye. All right. Well, whatever. It's like a breakup letter. I'm glad I didn't. Sorry, Gerald. Press to move. Okay. What kind of game is this, anyways? Nice little poster there. Yeah, his, his nice little poster there. I guess these are photos of his kids. He likes reading about boxing. And what is this? Electricians. Oh, we can jump apparently. And we can duck also. We can turn around 180. Okay, well, doesn't seem like there's anything valuable in here, like other than this piece of paper. Susan's so letter. Yeah, okay, so this letter was what we saw in the video. Okay, got it. Okay, so here's the map. Examine. WC, water closet, showers, roof access. Okay, you are here, so we're on the other side of. The boat. Okay. Join your union. Ah, quite right, Trots. Yeah. Okay. So clearly we're oil rig workers. That's this is what this was my room. Yeah, cause my little my little my little Santa's helper. Uh, what kind of diagram is this? Like the gas to fuel reinjection. Oh, it's locked? Okay. Nelly. Okay, that's locked. It's Nelly's room. O'Connor's room. Hello? Hello, Mr. O'Connor? Uh, doesn't look like Mr. O'Connor has been here in a really long time. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. What are you doing there? Henderson's room. Hello, Mr. Henderson. Uh, oh, man. All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to a high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. That's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Take mine. I don't need it anymore. Honestly. You're a no, person. don't give her that. Breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennie up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. Oh, man. Why did I give her my lighter? I'm going to regret that. That's what I got for being such a nice guy, I swear. Can I see myself? I can't even... <laughs> I just got rid of my super... Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna, like, uh, well, I mean, it is a video game, so, hello, 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 uh, so, <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't, can I take his towel? No. <laughs> well, he basically doesn't care, it's, it's, it's crazy how, <laughs> it's crazy how real this smoke feels, at this vapor, the steam, it's crazy how, how real this, <laughs> hello, oh boy, that was funny, well, never mind, <laughs> I guess, uh, there's nothing in here to do, uh, Gibson, hello, Mr. Gibson? Where the fuck is everybody? Like literally the only guy there's only one guy in the ship and he's like freaking showering for hours. <laughs> Maybe we like we're no and we're in a oil rig, not a freaking cruise liner. Tight bastards. It says we're union workers. <laughs> Memorandum to all staff Aberdeen to all staff of short due to late delivery of Beira Field and ongoing strike action. The board has determined that no Christmas bonus will be made for the financial year of 1975-76. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Bernard Cunningham, the chairman. Wow, what a fucking dick, dude. Okay, I don't think I... 
Now I now I feel like I want to burn this oil rig to the ground. Fuck you, bro, Mister Mister Chairman. Okay, yeah. Now I'm getting emotionally invested in this game. Can I like literally like burn down this oil rig? Oh, Mister Chairman. Fuck that, dude. Am I keeping my documents? I just want to know if I'm keeping a record. Oh, I can peek. Really? Yeah. Look at that. I can peek. Oh no. I don't want to go back to the bathroom. I'll test this. How long does this guy take to shower, man? Yeah, but see, like, now I can do this. Uh, hello? Peekaboo. Uh, sir? Do you happen to know what's going on in the ship? Okay, I'm out. <laughs> this is so dumb. It's so fucking dumb. Okay, I'm totally, like, not taking this game as seriously as the developers want me to. This is the map. Show me anything. Go have a map. Oh, I got a little pointer thing. Well, that's always nice. A dare. Let's see, what do we got here? Examine. Doesn't he surprise me? Prick. Put Britons first. Stop immigration. Reject common market. Restore capital punishment. Make Britain great again. <laughs> Scrap overseas aid. Rebuild our own for the national front. So, what are we like? British? Uh, yeah, good thing you keep two bottles of ketchup by the window, bro. It's always good to be prepared. Never know when you might run out of ketchup. In the noise. God damn it, is this the bathroom again? This game, it's horrible. I, all I can do is just keep running into the bathroom. Do -do. Okay. Yeah, we haven't gone down. Yeah, we already talked to this lady, so yeah, we went around her. Hey, lady, give my give me my lighter back. Is she using my lighter to smoke? Show your objective. Go to the canteen. Yay, let's go. We're coming, we're coming. Yeah, I guess they just don't want you to get lost. Which is cool, I'm down for it. You know, help a player not get lost. There's a big darts tournament. Final. I'm Kaz. So I got all the way to the semifinals. I'm Kaz, right? What is going on? Where is everybody? Okay, doors. Uh, Friday jukebox. Uh, what? Born to run by Bruce Springsteen. ACDC TNT. Misty, it's whispering grass. I can't even read some of this handwriting, bro. We love... Love is the love is the drug. Does that say Pink Floyd? Mommy Pink Floyd? I swear. What? Why was that one scratched out? Somebody's like, "Fuck this! I don't want my song." <laughs> Fuck you guys! <laughs> my song's way too good for all you guys. Can't give you anything. Divorce. Okay, yeah, like the buzzkill at the end. I love it. <laughs> Divorce is an acronym. Why, why is it an acronym? Guess I need to find out. All right. Well, dude, seriously, what the fuck? This is the only channel we got. Something I love about what was that game that was made by Rick and Morty? Oh man, something Planet. That game was hilarious. Holy shit! If you guys haven't played that game, definitely play it. Uh... Talk to Roy. Roy, you are here. Well, it's because I went the other way, right? And then there was like the Christmas tree room. Oh, here's everybody. Hey guys, what's up? Holy shit, dude! I was freaking out for a second. You have no idea. Guys, I'm fucking hungry. Call Roy. But not yet. I don't want to talk to Roy yet. Man, I hope there's some leftovers. Turkey roast. Nice tasty Brussels sprouts. Neeps and tatties. Brussels sprouts. Carrots. Pigs with blankets. Black pudding. Ew. I don't like black pudding. Gravy bread sauce. I don't know what gravy bread sauce is. Christmas pud and brandy sauce. And cran... Cranache. Cranachan. And Perkins. I don't know what those last two are. Oh, they're puddings, but I don't know what they are. Like, seriously. Kronachin and Perkins. Silly me, I was reading the handwritten thing instead of using the actual text logs. Cabbage casserole. Fluffy mackerel pudding. Yeah, now that's something. We know the drill. I love looking at all this stuff because I know how much thought they put into these things. You all right, Roy? All right. Cars, me old mucker. I do. That's how loud. To my office. No, not a ready. No. What's that? The sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the Paulus? Can't be surprised, Kaz. You hear from Suze? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off, Suze. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate. Even if it is the police, maybe it's best to just go back and face it. Yeah? Ugh, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scum. No way. I'm going to stay out as well. No matter what. And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. 
That's all clear for you now, Roy. Look at fresh. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Boo, uh, communist. Remember, life is like football. It's not over until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hang for that, McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. New shoes I got are real tight. Oh, dog, guys. You know, guys, I want to turn off those Xbox notifications. Like the ones that are kind of dumb, you know, like the Game Pass ones, like this one. I hate these. Oh, you guys probably can't see them. Shit. Oh, man. Hold on, guys. Yeah. I ended up taking off my shoes. Yeah, more comfortable. Yeah, this food looks pretty good. I'll take one of those, and I'll take one of these, and I'll take... Oh, man, look at those peas. Nope, don't want any of those. How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Ah, he'll be all right, pal. Bet you with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Cass. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Uh, well, okay, that was pretty shitty. I thought we were supposed to be in strike, like, why does you have to go down there? Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. <sighs> Give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, are there? I'll be fine. Well, you're not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. Who the fuck's laughing? So these guys? What are you guys eating? We all love the skullet. Yep, well, I guess there's nothing for me other than being a freaking dick to all these guys. Well, bye. All you guys suck. I'm gonna go... Okay, you guys want to talk to me, apparently. No? No? Oh, it's like I have to There's be here. no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mere rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, no this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, this place... Oh, come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Cass? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it fix the lecky. <laughs> what do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty! <laughs> uh, okay, so my guy is a patrician of sorts. He's... He tries to stay out of everyone's business. Okay, so now what? Head outside. Yeah, well, thank God for these markers. Yeah, screw you guys, you guys suck. Home sweet home. Yes, every time I look at the map at work, I think. Home sweet home. You got a lot of corned beef, bro. Like a lot. Oh man, if only this game was like scum and you could just pick everything up. Man, I miss playing scum. I should probably get back into it. It's a pretty fun game. I do like Rust too. I mean, I should give Rust another chance. It's just that, like, I don't know, maybe it just takes a little practice. I've only played Rust, like, a couple of times. It was kind of hard. But my homie, he does, he's he's really good at building bases. It's just that, like, there's just so much to it. I'm a little better. Uh, Scum is a little easier, and it's also, I like, a little better at it. The building system makes more sense to me. Yeah, so we're rocking in the wrong direction. Yeah, down. I better go and see Renick. Put it off much longer. You'll go even more mental. Okay, looks like the game is finally starting. Head up and see what the score is. Oh, I know I can jump, so... Woo. Okay, I can't jump over it. It's like there's an invisible wall. I can't jump over it. Yeah, there's very strict bounding boxes around everything. Okay. Am I all right to get by, pal? All right. You have to go around, Kaz. Oh wow, I need to hold on to the ladder. Nah. 
My office. Now don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? You'll be all right, Kaz. You get used to it. We all get a turn. Try not to punch him. No promises. <laughs> What's up, guys? Don't mind me. I'm just jumping around. Whoa! It's just working out, guys. No big deal. We've been working out, boss. I'm jumping on top of my coworkers. Stay on the path, mate. A cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. I clean it! Jesus, Scooby. Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favor? What do you need, Scoop? No. Could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? I need bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. Nice catch. Well, I really didn't do it. I was hoping there would be a puzzle or something. Didn't I say not to make me ask again, McLeary? My office. No. no. Well, here we fucking go. Enter. Ah, Mr. McLeary. So glad you could join me. And sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. No, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I, I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's not a ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking bouncing of you wee gub sites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, look, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I've got here's a mama who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I Shut it. it! I'm in a meeting. What? For fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! The trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fire. Come on, man. Bro. <laughs> trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Out! Get off my rig! Aye. Damn, I got fired, bro. Well, shit. Now what? Board the helicopter? Oh, screw you guys. I don't want to be here anyways. I'm good with the lecky. Well, no more running for you guys. Uh, let me go back to my wife that wants to divorce me. Jesus, Gregor! Gregor! We got a wife, man, guys! What the fuck happened? Guys, please! I don't want to die! Please, I don't want to die! Let's just hang on! Fuck! Oh no! Oh dude, I'm so fucked. Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favour. Reckons you can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Right, you lost the cake at the wedding. No, now then, now then. Dude, why am I that tripping on acid right now? You left it on a bench <laughs> at Argyle Street. Hey, right. you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was the night like the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Yeah, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, hey? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Guys! Christ! He's gone cold! Shit! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Cass! I think he's dead! We got you, man, all right? We got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Kaz, wake up, Kaz! Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he gonna die, Brody? <laughs> Kaz! <laughs> the hell happened? Was it an accident? Was it terrorism? Was it sabotage? Ah, no way through. I'm still fired, though. I need your help here. Hold on, bro, I'm coming. McLeary! Thank Christ! You're right, being up on your feet! The heat's killing me! Aye, aye, I think so! You got me out! Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. 
I'm sorry, Cass. Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no. Rass is still in there. Why aren't these working? Cass, I need you to help me. Cass! What? Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake. Then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Rass, it's all right. We're getting you out. It'll be two minutes, pal. Come back and winch up the bell now. Hang in there, bro. I'm coming. What's going on, Brody? What happened? Don't know. The drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion. Nobody knows. But whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky. Trust me. Douglas is trying to find out more. Like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with rafts? I don't know, all right? Decompression shouldn't be this bad. I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, rafts. It's Brody. I'm going to get you out. Is there anything there I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right. I'll head down there. Okay. Well, okay. Let's go. I, I swear to God, I'm going to die. <laughs> I don't want to do that. It's Poor guy. We're going to get him out. It's okay. Fucking thing's locked. Entering under the rig. Flare stack. <laughs> Dude, no way. Really? Oh. Fuck. Ah, fuck. Why is my guy tripping on acid all the time? Uh, oh, I see. It's kind of like a heavy rain thing. That's cool. I like heavy, heavy rain. Am I going to do this? Well, here we go. Yeah, I thought so. Christ. Too close. Oh, fucking hell. Just get up close. <sighs> Ooh, it's dark. Okay, I like this part better. What is that? So, yeah, that's basically cool. We're in a freaking alien oil rig. <laughs> there we go, I spoiled it. Okay, so anyways, I'm, that's, that's it. I'm going to take a little break right now. Yeah, let me know if you want me to play this game more. I think it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I do I do enjoy the atmosphere. I think the atmosphere of this game is really cool. Like, I, I definitely did feel like I was walking around in the oil rig. I did like the uh, character modeling. Like, they, re they honestly look like metahumans. Low-res metahumans. And the dialogue is really, really good. And, like, the jumping mechanics are, you know, jumping and climbing and stuff. Like, the, the platforming mechanics are not are not challenging at all um the 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 documents and stuff that's cool i think my only complaints with this with this game would be that number one there's like not enough interactable objects like like there's a lot of stuff on all these desks and i could interact with them i think it would have been cool to like at least let me knock him around or you know just have some more physics i felt like having such rigid physics made the game a little bit like just just felt like i was on the, on the monorail like i didn't really have much choice on what i was doing so that was the, that was my only complaint i think that it's just a little too rigid but it's a cool game and i'm enjoying the story so yeah anyways it's, it's not a bad complaint but it could be more interactive and i think that would make the game like stronger so yeah i'm gonna take a break and happy fourth of july weekend to everybody in the united states and to everybody else in the world well good night